Come here, Frank. Come on. Get in. Did you knock the GoPro over? Hang on, bud. Come here, Frank. Ready? So I think the lesson of that intro is that if you drive a beat up creeper van and ride a rusted out Walmart bike, there really is no way to make yourself look cool. All right, if I remember correctly, I think the trailhead starts somewhere right here. And as always, just as a safety precaution, I'm going to hit record on the Gaia GPS. Frank has found himself a uh, root that he's keen on pulling out of the ground. Not sure if he's going to succeed. <laughs> All right, Frank, we don't have time for this. Let's go. And we're moving along quite well, but with our 11 o'clock start and a just after 3 p.m. sunset, we don't nearly have enough time to get to this summit today. Today was more about sorting out the wooded portion of this trail during daylight hours because at 6 a.m. in the pitch black, it can be very confusing to do that. And that is what we are hoping to do while aiming for the summit of Cross tomorrow. This morning, I rolled out of bed at about 6.30, was able to get to the end of the road and jump on old Rusty Huff at about 7.30, made it to the trailhead of Cross Mountain at about 8, and I'm now hopefully on track to reach the summit today. Okay, we have sort of a calm spot that's a little break in the wind and I'm gonna try and drink some water, hydrate, eat some food, warm up a little bit because you can probably even hear I am cold. I am, my speech is even slurred. can't get this lit, but I have been doing some jumping jacks and hopefully I can just get the body temperature up so we can safely uh, continue on. The sun is actually coming out, which is not only a little bit of warmth, but it's a good morale booster. And I think we're going to uh, keep heading up. looking makes you wonder what the hell I'm doing out there it's pretty crazy these uh, ice formations they are obviously a result of high winds Point is that one. Ha! I'm on the wrong end of things here. Oh man. 
Hook her down, bud. Hook her down. It's blowing. I do not have the time or the energy to go back down and around and back up. Okay, so I have settled for trying to get up to this peak right here. And I'm going to attempt to do it without falling into the uh, cross-shaped snow down there that you uh, are probably used to seeing from town. I have resorted to uh, sitting on this rock as opposed to standing on it because it is very windy and, uh, you know, we kind of got some uh, sheer drops on both sides that I find to be uh, slightly terrifying. The other two summits of cross are just a little bit higher than where I sit. I will not be having a celebratory tea because I can't get my stove started and I cannot fly the drone in these wind conditions. So what I'm going to do is head down as soon as I can so I don't freeze to death up here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Comment with any thoughts you have. And remember, if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe. Have an awesome day.